All righty. So we've had some interesting news kind of leaked by KDFans.com. So definitely go check out their article um, about the future of King's Dominion because it's really interesting. I also want you guys to head on over to Coaster Studios if you don't know um, what that channel is. Um, he is. This is his home park and he's going to know more about this subject than I will. Um, so for any of the Canadians that aren't aware of him, because I know I have a more GP audience, definitely go check out Coaster Studios, his most recent video that he just uploaded as well, um, as he's going to know a lot more than me. So I'm going to try and just dive in real quick and keep it to the point because there's going to be a much more um, in-depth video by Coaster Studios on this subject. But I'm going to give my two cents on it and uh, what I think's going on. And uh, let's, uh, I guess let's get right into it. So according to kdfans.com, it's looking like we may see a 4D free spin roller coaster added to King's Dominion in 2021. Um, it's going to be located, I believe, in the Crips location, not replacing um, Volcano. And this absolutely makes sense. So a lot of people are expecting a big coaster um, in 2021 to replace Volcano. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't really work that way. So Volcano, from what I understand, again, feel free to comment down below and drag me or correct me if I make any mistakes in a video, especially about a different park that's outside of Canada's Wonderland. Um, but from what I understand, when you remove a coaster, you're not going to have a replacement um, right away. And Volcano was a last minute removal. I don't think the park or the chain was expecting to remove Volcano. Um, they tried to keep it and it was a somewhat last minute removal, thus meaning a coaster replacement is going to take two to three years um, to replace it. So you're not going to see a replacement for, for Volcano until 2022, 2023, um, maybe even possibly 2024. We know that King's Dominion is one of those parks that does take quite a while to have a um, roller coaster projects installed at the park so it could be 2024 but i'm gonna guess two to three years it was a last minute removal this park has seen a lot of removals over the last couple of years so they're gonna need something to replace it um and then on top of that i think a 40 free spin is a great replacement for a ride like the crypt um i'm gonna be honest i absolutely love this ride i think they're so underrated i would love one at my park canada's wonderland as well i'm actually been begging for one ever since I went on this ride this summer at Great Adventure. It was one of my favorite rides I'd been on, and it ranks extremely high on my um, top coasters that I've been on currently. I, I know a lot of enthusiasts would say it ranks too high, but um, it's just a personal opinion. I love this ride. I wasn't expecting it to be uh, as crazy as it was, and it genuinely uh, made me a little scared while I was riding it. So it was super fun. So I'm I'm excited that King's Dominion is getting this coaster. I think it makes sense. Again, you're not going to see a roller coaster addition at King's uh, King's Dominion um, for about two to three years to replace Volcano. It needs a lot of planning. Um, and it's quite interesting because you, from what we understood, there was a wing coaster that was proposed, keyword proposed for King's Dominion, and then it got shelved. Um, so I don't know if that was um, a f really quick drop from B&M to replace Volcano. And then... Uh, Based off of the reaction, maybe they delayed it. I don't know what's going on there. Was that in a project that was going to be installed regardless? Um, I have no idea what anything to do with that project, so I can't speak on the wing coaster and what's happened to that. I know kdfans.com um, has said something about it's being shelved currently. Don't know what that can entail for the future. Is that going to be the coaster that comes in 2022, 2023? Have no idea. Could not even speak my mind on that. All I know is there will definitely be a roller coaster replacement for a volcano. The park's going to need another roller coaster. And for anyone that knows King's Dominion, um, their giga coaster didn't go over that well. It was too forceful and uh, too intense for the average guest. So they're going to need more of a family thrill ride. Um, again, they're probably going to build a thrill ride, but it's going to be more family oriented, targeted at the average person that visits that park not the enthusiast. So again, enthusiasts don't expect anything insane. They need a roller coaster that can target the average general public. And I think that this 40 free spin is exactly that. I mean, this ride is still going viral. I don't know if you saw, I think it went viral on Twitter and then also on TikTok over the last couple of weeks. And th these rides have been installed for quite some time. So they're still drawing people in and people are still looking at this type of roller coaster and going, what is that? And that is exactly what a park needs. They're not going after what enthusiasts want. They're going after what grabs attention. And this is like the 40 free spins seem to be the next dive coaster of uh, the roller coaster world. A lot of people are like, wow, that looks insane. You know, a lot of enthusiasts look at Yukon Strike and they go, oh, it's just a basic dive. Well, it drew in a lot of people and a lot of people love it. And these 40 free spins are exactly that. 
So I would I would expect to see a lot more of these installed at Cedar Fair Parks as well coming. But nonetheless, this is my quick thoughts on what's going on with Volcano, why you're not seeing a roller coaster replacement in 2021, and it's going to take some time to see that. Again, two to three years would be my estimate. And uh, a 4D free spin in Crips location is an awesome addition. Would love to see more of these at Cedar Fair Parks. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, go check out Coaster Studios' video on this subject as well. Um, and kdfans.com. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And comment down below what your thoughts are on a 4D free spin coming to KD. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.